Green Interwebs, it's Jackie King, and welcome for another edition of Game and Chill. This one's gonna be even more different than per usual. As you can see here with the gameplay on screen, we're actually checking out Scarlet and Violet this time. With how much time I spent playing in Pokemon Legends RCS, I figure it's about time to give another open world game a chance. As far as I can see, we'll be back to Legends RCS next month for the next Game and Chill. There's still a lot that I gotta do in that game before the new one comes out. That's a whole thing in of itself. But the main reason we're playing Scarlet and Violet this month is I finally got myself the Shiny Charm. I finally got all the Pokemon in the base Pedalia Pokedex to get that Shiny Charm and I wanted to give it a test run. So there just so happened to be a stream of the Dolphin Pokemon. I think it's Physian? I don't know. I have to look it up every single time and even when I see the word in front of me I still don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it does take some googling just to look it up. Basically there's a mass outbreak of that in the game so I decided to take advantage of that to try out my brand spanking new shiny charm. It's a cool Pokemon, a cool shiny from what I recall. Couldn't think of a better opportunity, a better moment to try it out. So I decided to do my first shiny hunting stream in Paldea. That stream ended up being a real good time, so good I actually went a whole hour and a half instead of the usual one to two hours I typically stream. So I figure why make more work for myself and just use some of the highlights from that stream for this month's Game and Chill. It's kind of a similar format where I just shoot the breeze about whatever's going on in the midst for the most part. Feel free to let me know if you disagree, if the old fashioned way is better. But I think the type of commentary I had for the stream is close enough to Game and Chill that I won't be too noticeable. This week or should I say this month is more of an exception, just not to try to create extra work for myself. There's a lot I gotta do and a lot to catch up on as I get ready for April. Before I get into the month of April, how about I take advantage of this long part of the stream where I didn't have any sort of commentary, totally not because the mic died out, I mean I didn't notice until after I caught something special. But yeah, getting off topic, stuff going on this month. You may have already noticed a pattern by the time this video goes up, but just in case, we got the usual YouTube short on Sunday, and because I have so much Mount Battle to go through for all this month and probably the first week of April, we got a Mount Battle Marathon. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are going to feature more of Pokemon XG and Next Gen all the way until the last week of the month, which I'll get into more detail after listing out everything else. Friday we'll have more of the Lost Age Randomizer until the last week of the month. And on top of this game and chill, I do have a new editorial edited. Small chance you might see it before this video, but if not, then the editorial will be up shortly, possibly as soon as the following week from when you're seeing this. For this editorial, I did a deep dive on the prologue of the original Golden Sun game. We talk about everything great about that prologue, things that I wish were improved, and even go over a little hypothetical. excuse me, I just got done commenting for a live stream for almost three hours. My voice might be a little shot, I just want to get this done while the thoughts are still fresh in my mind. Yeah, I think it came out really good, especially considering that all I talk about is the Golden Sun prologue. It's amazing how much I was able to squeeze out of that small portion of the game. If there wasn't already enough testament of how much of a Golden Sun fan I am, I think this will definitely do the trick. And speaking of Golden Sun, there's still a lot of work to be done with Donjin, though that might take a little bit of a back burner this month as I finish up, or should I say I'm putting the finishing touches on a special project in a similar vein they want to get out sometime by the end of March early April. I can't say too much because it's a small mod so even a tiny teaser might spoil the entire surprise, but it's a bunch of dumb silly fun that I think people will enjoy. I would say appreciate, but I think enjoy is a more appropriate word. Almost forgot to talk about the final week of March, so as I was saying like I was recording quite a bit in February to try to catch up after all the hiatuses I've had in previous months, like 
how I've been sick in December and how I was not in a good mood for recording throughout January, it feels like I'm just starting to get back into the swing of things. Unfortunately, that was right when I hit a wall in the Lost Age randomizer. So I had a small recording session where I just picked up demos from my Switch, various demos of a wide variety of quality, and pretty much revived the Jackie K tries for a week. So last week of March, we got Jackie K try videos from the 25th to the 28th. Each of a Nintendo Switch demo of various qualities. We got a good variety of content to <laughs> have fun with. And that's about all I can think about for now. I have been having a lot of thoughts about the future of the channel, but I think that's better off saved for future months when I have my thoughts and ideas a bit more organized. But for now, here's some highlights from that shiny hunting stream to enjoy. If you wish to see the full bot in full, I'll be sure to include a video card. If I haven't already, I will do so right now. And you can check out the stream. Uh, warning you that there, there is a good chunk that has no commentary, but it gets fixed. <laughs> Maybe not soon enough, but it gets fixed. Oh, you know, I forgot to do this. I forgot to see how loud the audio is compared to the game because part of the compromise to actually get myself to play this game was to play with the Legends RCS music. I just enjoy the music from that game more, and I don't. And I feel like I've been enjoying Scarlet a lot more ever since I turned off the music from the game. I'm not. I don't even have my TV on at the moment, and just got some YouTube going in the background. So what was I gonna do? There's something I wanted to do. Now this is the other reason why this is an up public stream for right now. That's the thing. Like I'm feeling kind of weird today, but I felt bad about not streaming yesterday, so I wanted to do something. So, un I for right now, unless the stream. For that I posted on Discord, but if I feel more into it as I keep on going, I might just make it a public stream. Then I was actually half can tempted to cancel the stream because I was look. I know you use sandwiches to increase your shiny odds, and on my own time, like I just finished it up yesterday. But I find with a, mostly from the help of Pokemon Home, I got the completed. Pokedex. So I got the shiny charm now. And it's all set to like, there's a outbreak of the dolphin Pokemon. And it's all tempted, or all set and ready to. Well, yeah, there is. For some reason, it's just not marked. <laughs> it's all set and ready to go and shiny hunt for it. But I was looking up on the, I was looking online to see what type of sandwich I would need to make. Surprisingly, it's kind, kind of buried on some semi unfamiliar gaming websites, and maybe there is something on Bulbapedia about it. I'm just not finding because I'm using Google, and Google takes. And Google just giving priority to these more iffy websites. I guess a, I think a lot of it is just due to the fact that I already spent a lot of time in Legends of Arceus, so I've got a wide variety of shiny Pokemon in that game, and I want I want shiny hunt in something else. But like, there's not too many open world Pokemon games yet. Kind of got the gut feeling that. This is a trend that they're going to keep going forward with. As much as I wouldn't mind them actually doing something more smaller scale every now and then. I just feel like they open up the floodgates. <laughs> with Scarlet and Violet and like... I was all set and ready to talk about how my day was yesterday. But now I'm kind of getting second boss because it hasn't been too great. And I'm feeling a bit tired. I did get out for breakfast, and the breakfast was nice, so... There was at least that. And what song is this? Oh! 
I completely forgot what <laughs> Legends are. They no. Game Freak gave up on Legends Arceus so fast that I completely forgot that it even had a mystery gift mode. So, <laughs> kind of caught me off guard to hear about that. But yeah, speaking of Legends Arceus, I kind of like miss... Part of the reason why it's so e easy to just keep playing that game is because I missed the whole jingle sound effect and sparkles whenever you see a shiny, so even if they look relatively similar, there's no mistaking when you find one. I mean, sh I'm far from the first person to say that though, so surely by the time we get a new game, they'll bring back that feature. Guess I could talk about my thoughts on that direct now. Have to just save it for a Game and chill, though. Kind of just a bit over the plate. I guess another thing I like about shiny hunting in Legends Arceus is that, huh? Is it no? It's just the lighting. Oh, that's a shelter. I saw the purple and I got fries, but I guess it wouldn't be that easy. I don't know. People, editing has. Editing is a really powerful tool. It makes a lot of people's shiny hunts look a lot easier than they probably actually are. I guess at some point I could try to get into some raids and show you what I mean about just like not having the best luck. I don't even, it's be more a skill issue than luck, but the point being, nah, it's just the lighting. Yeah, that whole sparkle thing is kind of really getting to me at a point like now. Oh yeah, I was going back and forth if I wanted to talk about the direct. Maybe I'm. Everyone will talk about Legend CA and all of that. And while that would be the biggest surprise of the percent, I'm just surprised that they actually had new news for Pokemon Go instead of just rehashing it. Assuming that people who actually would be interested, assuming that the people watching the present never actually bothered to play Pokemon Go. So the fact that they actually have something new, I've already, I'll be honest, I already forgot what the new thing was that they announced. Which probably is a testament of just how exciting the Pokemon Go news actually was. But I do remember that it was different. It wasn't something they didn't they didn't hear already. So that's a good sign in of itself. And yeah, I was actually pretty hyped about the whole I've had, I've gotten real into Pokemon Sleep. So I was actually pretty hyped about the whole Raikou reveal thing. There was some good, I guess the point I'm getting at is that there was some good mobile game stuff from that presentation. Though it kind of got dust under the radar because, let's be honest. And here's where I would have the commentary for the shiny I found. If the mic didn't just randomly die as I was recording it. Ugh. I did just get done doing this stream, so... I might as well do this now while it's as fresh in my mind as possible and try to recreate the moment to the best of my ability. So there I was just going back and forth, checking for the paddle fins, I mean the Pokemon Dolphin, I'm sorry I had to pull up Google again, Physian, waiting for the, f going back and forth checking Physians to see if any of them change color. Spent a lot of time talking about just how the shading in this game kind of makes them look like different colors. And while I was pretty sure that the purple that the shiny was was distinct enough that I would notice, I still had my second doubts of when they were different shades of blue, even though the light, because of the lighting, even if the lighting didn't match up in a way to <laughs> convince me that it wasn't different colors. But back and forth, I went and eventually I found this. This! This fish! No mammal, no dolphin. 
a fish. Yet another shiny Magikarp for the collection. And if you've been following my shiny hunting adventures either for Game & Chill or that big massive shiny hunting video where I showcased every shiny Pokemon that I caught in Legends Arceus up to the start of 2024, there's a lot of mixed feelings about this. On one hand, there was a lot of hype because a shiny's a shiny, but on the other hand, it's a gold fish. In a world where not only have I gotten a shiny Magikarp in Pokemon Legends already, not only have I gotten two red Gyarados in Pokemon Legends already, but I'm just flooding in gold Magikarps. Pokemon Go alone has given me more of the yellow fish than I could possibly ever dream of. Like, pretty sure I've caught a couple on quote unquote full odds for that game. But then there is a whole community day for the floppy little goldfish. So there's a lot of mixed feelings, but overall good. Until I noticed something. It's about here when I noticed that OBS decided, oh hey, for some reason, I'm not gonna record your mic anymore. And that probably for the past half hour, if not more, commentary was completely blank. In hindsight, that kind of makes sense why people said hi in chat and just left without no response. Feel bad because on my end, on their end, it looked like I wasn't responding back to them at all. That really stinked. <laughs> if the commentary that I had when I did fix the mic didn't give that away in of itself. You have got to be kidding me. The mic was off this whole time? No. But it was working earlier. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. And like, I had so many good stories and I was going to use this, everything I was talking about for Game and Chill. And... Oh, yeah. <sighs> Lighting in this game is weird. Two things that they obviously try to make different col different colors because of the lighting. Oftentimes, look like two different colors of Pokemon because they the lighting is weird. Oh, I didn't even realize yet you were right there in front of me. So the rundown is I typically don't play this game. I played it to the credits and I try to pick it up every now and then to try to get get into the hype of it all. But often it doesn't click. So I mostly stick to playing Pokemon as much as RCS. And, but I have gotten really into shiny hunting from playing that game so much. So I want to expand my horizons on the different types of games that I can shiny hunt in. So off screen on my own time, I actually worked on getting the shiny charm in this game. Which wasn't as bad as it might seem. Because a lot of the time I spent... Because a lot of the times, it's just a matter of transferring stuff from Pokemon Home into Scarlet and Violet to get it checked off as a text entry. It helps that like I was spending a lot of time in Pokemon Home just trying to see how many Pokemon from the Paldea decks I could get just from Wonder Trees and GTS. So, going into the other games. Mm. What is saying? So, going into Scarlet and Violet. You know what? This is why I have the use the OBS preview and not the not YouTube's video preview because that way I can 
double every time I feel down, I can double check the see for the waves and see the lines on the audio go up and down for my mic. So there's no means, if, and, or buts about confusion of if the audio for my mic is recording or not. But that's, that's what I was trying to reiterate because I have no idea how much this actually is going to keep now. I got the shiny charm. <laughs> it's a little heartache because there's that whole time frame of catching of thinking that I had everything that there was to offer and being at 399 out of 400 and having no idea what the one Pokemon I was missing was. Okay, we got a microcorn for that. That is a lot stronger of a purple than I thought it was. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm glad we actually got the magic art now now because <laughs> the magic card was just warm up to make sure that everything was good to go when the real thing actually came by. Uh, the problem is I still don't have any means to whittle it down. But I want to at least try to catch it in a cool Pokeball again. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even get a chance to <laughs> ramble about everything else that I was going to do. Oh shoot, maybe? I, no, I was going to catch this in something besides the quick ball anyway. Something to match this color a little more. Is that two Pokemon that we're catching both on the Noble Pokemon theme? It sure does seem like it. What Pokeballs do I have? I guess the Dive Ball is always a classic. But, like... <laughs> in hindsight, I probably could have, like, made sure I stock up on Pokeballs before going into this. Ah, do I use my only Lure Ball? No. The Dive Ball would work better anyways. It's not purple, but kind of fits with the Ocean Wave theme and all that. Man, and didn't even shake, just caught it right away. <laughs> I would say my first shiny <laughs> since getting the shiny charm, but then got that magic carp in the mix. Well, I can't call you noble too, can I? Maybe I'll call you royal, just to match with the whole noble theme. See what we got. Naughty nature. No ribbon or mark. You know, I forgot to check to see if the magic card that we caught earlier had a ribbon or a mark. I guess you can come in the party too. Oh, I never had the previous one in the party. Yeah, let's get our shinies out here and take a look before I try to get back into the story time and all that. You know, get the other Magikarp. Or the other shiny, I meant to say. You know, what is it with, like... Because Azumarill here is a shiny too. Is it really that much extra worth to have them show up as shiny on their icon here. I, I mean, obviously it's more work, but was it really not worth the effort expert? It just feels off <laughs> to have all these, to have all this and, and not be noticeable. Ugh. No, don't attack anything. I'm just trying to get out of our, po get out of our Pokemon to Show it off more. How 
of work. I think I got put you up in the front, and then throw the Pokeball. Yeah, that's definitely a shiny dolphin friend. Oh, it's still paralyzed. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a screenshot of it not being a suffering. And I guess now we can at least check to see if Noble has any markings of note. Hardy nature. No mark. Well, that's fine. It just would have been nice to have something to differentiate that magic carp from like the 20 million other magic carps that I've already got. I guess that's a really cool part about the DLC of just how they like made all the sh starter Pokemon shinies in of itself. The shiny does it have a. M I did not notice that it had a mark. I could have sworn that it said no mark when I looked at it in the summary. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> and I was just about to say, well, everyone's just joining in, so maybe I'll just keep going until I get a shiny with a mark. Well, so much for that, eating my own words. I guess on a similar tangent, like, I have not had, I have not had good luck with the event raids. Granted, I only just started trying to get back into the raids with... Ah, I think I found my ne a good next target. Well, first of all, I think I'm, I got my eyes on <laughs> Squirrel here. I know his name, but I just can't pronounce it. Oh, um, that was scary. <laughs> Never had that happen in Scarlet before. Every copy of Scarlet and Violet is personalized. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not gonna s sit through this entire outbreak. I don't know what it is, but this this outbreak feels a lot more scattered than the Falcon. Okay, I think I see where they all are now. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say, though. I think I'm gonna go after these little guys because... It's the Sword and Shield Pokemon, and I didn't do any shiny hunting in the short Sword and Shield. <laughs> and I don't think it's appeared to Pokemon Go. For some reason, Pokemon Go is allergic to Sword and Shield. It's like, for some reason, it's Niang's least favorite generation. And if it wasn't for the fact that some of those Pokemon were actually prominent with PvP, I feel like they would. I, I'm convinced that they would just hide. Sword and Shield Pokemon till the end of time. Because they only come back for events. And like, the, you can get Wulu from Go Battle League. But I feel like they only did that because the Go Battle League community got complaining like, wait, this is a really good Pokemon. Why do you keep hiding it? So that was, that was their internal compromise. That, at least that's what I speculate. And that's a long tension to say that unless you actually played Sword and Shield, there wasn't really too many opportunities to actually get the Sword and Shield Pokemon. And Sword and Shield is kind of weird to me because, like, I ended up enjoying it a lot after both DLCs came out. And like, it's the one Pokemon Sword and Shield. Ironically, it's some of the most fun I've had in multiplayer, but it's also the only time I never bothered to beat the main story in a Pokemon game. Oh, shoot. I missed the first call. Um, it ironically is some of the most fun I've had with multiplayer, but also the the game I played the, played the most single player of. Like, I saw how the post games also good. We're still good with the notifications and all that. I wonder if I should make the sandwich before or... Or see if I even have the ingredients to make the sandwich. Before or after I finish knocking them out. Oh, don't mind me. This is like how I typically talk when I don't... 
have editing to fall back on where just <laughs> a lot of pauses and easily get sidetracked, especially when I'm playing in the midst of it all. So it's like... So long story short, I did not pick up Sword and Shield until the Crown Tundra DLC came out. And honestly, I only picked it up because I saw everyone streaming Dynamax Adventure and how much fun they were all having with it. So I guess that's a half lie. I technically have Shiny Hunted and Sword and Shield. I just completely forgot because 99% of my time playing Sword and Shield was in the Dynamax Adventure mode. So, there's a lot going on. And as for C through A, the short answer is I haven't seen enough of it to really get hyped. I'm glad they're making a new Legends game. I have let a little bit of the speculation get to me. And I'm just worried that whether or not it's actually going to be play like Pokemon Legends, or if Legends is just the name that they use for experimentation. Assuming that it's the same gameplay as Legends Arceus, I'm definitely going to be down for it, though. I don't even care that it's in Kalos, because even though, like, Kalos was one of the weaker generations in terms of regions to me, Legends Arceus gave me a brand new appreciation for Sinnoh, so I have no problem or no there's no reason for me not to believe that they won't do the same thing again with Kalos, especially because I had a lot of fun with the Mega Evolution mechanic. That's like the one, X, even though like I wasn't too into the single player of X and Y, that was peak. X and Y were peak PvP for me, at least with the main series games. It was a time frame where I spent a lot of A lot of times with that particular mechanic. I even have, think I have some old YouTube videos up from the time frame where I was actually doing that sort of PvP. And I didn't even think that far, like... I didn't even think about the concept of the fly mount. Pokemon. And honestly, nothing's coming to mind at the moment, but... Now that's, some, now that's something I'm gonna end up thinking about for quite a bit. On a similar tangent, I wonder what the DUX Machia for bringing weird Pokemon is gonna be. You know, like how the original Legends Arceus had the uh, space time rifts. If, if we're going under the assumption that it's gonna be the same format, then I feel pretty confident that we're gonna get something like that. As far as I'm concerned, they always have Hoopla to fall back on. It's not exactly a Kalos Pokemon, but the whole Ultra Wormhole mechanic was literally invented for when they wanted to explore stuff like that. Okay, yeah, that's it. No more. <laughs> okay, Algae, you've had your time. Stop beating up the. Stop beating up the squirrels. We don't have that many left. All right, so now it's just matter of going in and out. I can see why they recommend the picnic before. With how bad with how leggy it was in water. I mean I'm starting to realize this is the polar opposite of Pokemon Legends RCS where I actually enjoy shiny hunting in the water more than I do on land. Maybe it's just that these Pokemon are so skirmish and running around, like could probably run in and out of screen in a similar way to get them to respawn. But I was thinking about making a picnic for them in a little bit anyways. Are you all new or... I guess it was a lot, it's just a lot easier to tell if I off screen them or not. When we were just swimming back and forth in the water. Oh, an animatement! I was actually kind of looking for one of those. A little too late now, but still. All right, I still have to guide up for sandwiches. So normal type, 
Salty Herba Mystica. Guess what this guess what Herba Mystica I don't have. So I guess we're just doing this the old fashioned way. I already had like I already had one in Legends of Arceus. Close to people. Where's the people? Are you talking about the sign? Do you consider signs people game? Because I don't see any people. We got Gimme Go here. I guess Gimme Go might be people. Sometimes when I'm shiny hunting, I just pull up the game and then pull up the. I have a two screen monitor to help me with video editing. So when I'm actually playing a game, I just pull up the game on one screen and then pull up my PC on the other screen. And I do like a double earbud method to actually hear it on one screen. To actually play the game on one screen while I'm listening to a video or a podcast on the other screen. And it's a real nice setup. It has just one major drawback though. And that's the fact that in order to do it, I need two sets of earbuds. So I typically do like one do like headphones for one of the monitors and earbuds for the others. And there's mixed results of whether or not it actually sounds good or not. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I've gotten really lost <laughs> and gotten away from the initial cluster. I feel like I've roamed around these lands enough and... I mean, we're not making sandwiches, so it's not like we're doing an efficient shiny hunt to begin with. If I ever do this again, I'm gonna try to get more Herb of Mystica off-screen, so... We can be a little more effective with our hunting, but I was kind of nervous about doing this at first. I wasn't sure if I'd be in the groove or actually feel up to doing it, but eventually I did. So I'm glad I stuck to it. <laughs> lighting kind of makes you look a little... The lighting did things to your eyes, my friends. You kind of look like you could be in a PG-13 horror movie with that look. But I don't think you're sparkling. Like, I don't. You're not a patrat sort of situation. It's, it does remind me, it's kind of ironic, but I think, like. Pokemon Home actually made me care about patrat, because initially it's, like, one of my least favorite Pokemon. Not, it sounds like still up there. But I actually go out of my way to catch them in Pokemon Go, because it's one of the few Pokemon that don't exist in any Switch title, so I like holding on to them either for GTS trading or if I want to be super generous, just wonder trade them away. So are we thinking that like this next Legends game is gonna bring back the last of the Pokemon that aren't exclusive to Switch games? Cause I with Furfuru I see it. It's a major Kalo staple. And I can see it with the monkeys because, like, even though they're Unova Pokemon, they did also appear in Kalos. And it was actually the one time they were fairly common in the wild as well. So, all oh, that's fine to do. But Patrat, Patrat, I don't think was in X and Y, at least initially. So, are we thinking that they're actually going to squeeze in Patrat in some shape or form to actually fit in that game? Because, like, as much as I don't like Patrat, I actually feel bad for it because of just how neglected it's gotten by Game Freak. But I can't blame them because I'm pretty sure my opinion on Patrat is not an uncommon one. So, they were probably not in any sort of rush to get Patrat into the game, especially when they got like these little squirrel guys and so many other Patrat alternatives to 
squeeze into their Pokemon games. For me in particular, like, cause I'm, I'm still fairly content with the Switch. I am kind of like keeping my eyes open for whatever comes after though. Not because I actually want a new console, but because I've been worried for the longest time of what they're gonna do with certain features once we get a new console. Things like Pokemon Home and the NSO. I've been wondering for years if when we get a new console, if they're gonna actually bring them over? Those features over to the new console? Or are we start are we just gonna start over from square one again? Like what we did with Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. Cause I'm worried about that. Like especially with Nintendo Switch Online service in particular, it took them so long to get enough games on that service to make it worth the price point that I do not want to start over from scratch again. Yeah. You can tell I'm old because I'm starting to fall apart with the Pokemon. Like, I can, I can fairly easily tell you any of the Pokemon from the first five generations by looking, and probably probably do okay with X and Y and a low as well. But I know I've noticed with these Switch games that I am struggling hard. <laughs> trying to memorize the names of the Pokemon. I guess a thousand is my mental limit, even for a game series that I grew up with. Got it. Should got it, at least. Alright. <sighs> Try and do a raid live might kind of realize with my chat delay that might be an issue in of itself. Well, we'll see how it goes though. Also I just realized with my mic so close to the TV on monitor. Maybe I should take the little millisecond to swap it over. Um, let's see. Leave off with acid spray. If I ever get a chance to attack, that is. How much did I focus on support and how much did I focus on doing attacks? Nice. Kinda wonder if I should have a physical attack to actually capitalize on that. Well, I guess acid spray first turn and then spam muddy water? That might be good. Oh, why am I not using Rain Day or Rain Dance? This whole reason it's on the move pool. Oh, I was gonna say, oh shoot, but I'm screwing over my teammate, but no, that's the CPU. I guess we're fine. Oh wait, is this the turn that I'm supposed to protect? Uh... There's no nullify abilities on my side. Yeah. I just realized with the chat, this might be a problem with the chat delay. Doesn't help that I don't really gotta wait. Oh cool, I did do it right. <laughs> I didn't think that was a one turn thing though. I thought that lasted an entire battle, so the fact that it only lasts one turn certainly is nice and helpful. 
makes kind of makes me realize that I kind of wish I had a better attacking option to get through the Terra Shield, but oh god. <sighs> Shoot, I'm kind of worried about that timer. I'm wondering if I'm doing enough. Mm. Okay. Put my fate on you. I'll just keep money watering where I can. Uh, let me know if you negative effects from yourself. Maybe I'll acid spray then and get that. Get that back up. I'm starting to realize the downside of this Pokemon is just like how... Sure, it can't get hit by anything, but... Actually, is a reason. Attack cheer me. I wish I had it, but I don't have the DLC, so I don't have to move. That's why I actually have to protect in the fray. We're catching back up, so I think as long as we get rid of the Terra Shield. Oh, right. This sort of thing. Wow. Everyone else always ignores it, so I kind of just, I forgot that it was a feature for a bit. Now I forget the cheers are like three per person or three for the entire team. So I don't want to get too greedy per person. So you know what? I kind of want. Maybe I should just do more cheers. Like you all are seem to be doing way more than me. Oh wow, that that was way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm guessing you. Shout out to teamwork, everyone. What ball do I want it? Mm. Here we go. This just feels fitting for this moment. And not nearly as bad as in some other. Flag was not nearly as bad as in some other race, which really helps. <laughs> yeah, great work everyone. I did read up that this was the first 6 star raid that had Herba Mystica, but seeing it for myself... <laughs> Guess who finally got the salty Herba Mystica at the end of the raid? <laughs> you had to play support a lot, so using cheers became insane to know, know when to do. That's good. And what TM is 133? I'm sure I'll be able to look that up later. Now, so this is a good time and all. I, and I want to keep I want to keep going, but it's also been two and a half hours. So I think I kind of I think I kind of need a break in of itself. But let's, let's, before I get too caught up on that, I, let me take a look at this Venusaur that I just got. Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Insha, Modest. I'm glad I actually got to use one of my proud and mighty... Hisuian greats. So let me save. Yeah. Thank you all for tuning in for the stream. I really want to keep going, but I think it's definitely a good time for me, me to take a break from it all. Thanks for everyone coming in to making, making everything as good as it was. Yeah, if I don't stop, I'm going to keep going, so I'm just going to cut it off here.